Days in effect. We back at it, man. It's another intro video intro. for y'all. AT right. here. Glock. And if y'all ain't peeped it, make sure y'all check out the Monday mix. It it's is out. going live. Flat. Got a lot of new vibes for y'all this week. That's what we're gonna be talking about today, I feel yeah. like. Just focusing on that new vibe. New and energy. The new things vibes. that they the things that they can try and, you know, deal with going forward in the days. What you messing with on the playlist? Oh man, you already know I'm, I'm messing with man. I'm messing with that one guy, that popcorn. Yeah. Right there. That's some heat. And again, that's some new vibes. That came out this summer and it was just Dance hall sounds. It's about new, time, man. Popcorn need to drop a yeah, new yeah. album. It's That's about a fact. time. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting for singles all year, but you know, about time you drop some heat. But. I'm gonna have to say that Money Sprung, A Boogie with the hoodie. That album yeah. is fire. Yeah, you new been, York you stand up. You've been hype on that for a little man, bit. The right A now, Boogie so. album is fire, man. You got to give it a listen. Uh, yeah, yeah, Definitely yeah. check it out. New energy, new vibes. We got a lot of that in the playlist. You know what I mean? We got some Cardi. We got that Post Malone. 21 heat. heat you feel me we got the alkaline we got that new protege got black Wiz hero whiz kid of course and you got the heat up in there man. plenty of new energy yeah definitely go peep that though it's already i ain't gonna go too far into that mm -hmm. it's already out we dropped on monday if you ain't peeped it you late and with that being said let's get into the topic today yeah, for sure this today. is the intro and today's topic is doubt, doubt. in the days and we're talking about doubt in the yeah. days you know what i mean and the symptoms of you know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like days, I mean, the, the doubt is just a symptom of the days and a symptom right. of the days taking full effect as you go forward with it. You know what I mean? You start to lose focus and and you start to doubt yourself and lose confidence in the plan. Self-doubt you know? plays a lot or a large role at least in yeah. final destination, I feel like. Exactly. I felt people like, people like Bert, people like, people like G-Eazy, people like all these, these young people coming in. Um, they have to deal with a lot of doubt. They're coming yeah. in with a whole new sound. If anything, they're coming in with trying to recreate something that's already been done in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, uh, it's interesting, you know? Especially with social media as well. Today we have, you know, all that energy from social media coming mm -hmm. at you. Sometimes that causes you to doubt yourself as well. Exactly. It's a lot more of that. Oh, right I'm now. not getting 300 likes on my photos or yeah. nobody retweeting my shit. So exactly. It's like looking at other people or seeing somebody else's success and seeing them get like, you know, this many likes or this many shares, whatever right. it is. And you're like, man, like, well, I'm not doing that. So that means I must be doing something wrong. Right. But you know, it's just all about, you know, just rebuilding your own confidence and understanding, you know, where you need to be at, where you need to focus your energy on, revisit the plot, revisit how you want to try and execute that plan. True. And then try and refocus your movements, you know what I mean? And start actually moving forward with that move and then, you know, moving forward with that and feel a little more confident in your movements after right. that, you know? And then once from there, I feel like you start getting some steam, starts almost the snowball I mean, effect where confidence grows one day you just keep working I on mean, it i mean i feel like that was just like it's just a mind game you know at the end of the True. day it's just if you feel like you're doing something wrong then fix it you know so i mean if you really feel like you're doing something wrong then, then do something to change it and do something to try and move forward with that progress so right. with that being done with us actually introing the days with the doubt and the days being you know related in that sense we're gonna move forward with the quote of the day and okay. it's coming to you by Pierre. a man named Pierre Al Albillard. Abelard. Abelard. Yeah. Abel Abelard. <laughs> yeah. Abelard, yeah. Okay, and this is the quote. The beginning of wisdom is found in doubting. By doubting, we come to the question, and by seeking, we come upon the truth. And again, that's the by truth. Pierre Abelard. So yeah, some heat, man. I feel Looking like- for the truth. Yeah, I feel like doubt is just like that spark. It's that, that question, it's like, well, you know, like I said, if you ain't doing something right, then you gotta change it. You know, sure. start actually moving forward and try and find a way where you can actually start being able to gauge your success and your progress. Exactly. And we talk about distortion a lot with the days, of course. I feel like uh, doubt causes for that distortion in what is the truth. Obviously, mm -hmm. you're doubting yourself. Exactly. So you're doubting what is true about yourself. Maybe highlighting your flaws a little bit too much, you know, yeah. boosting your strengths, whatever it be. It's about perspective, you know, so you gotta just take that new perspective on it and move forward with Of forward. course, we got the days of the day. Right, right, right. And today's days of the day is, you know, let's say you're focused on your specialty or whatever your passion you have, right. and you hit a setback, and now it looks like you might not accomplish that goal. You know, how do you overcome? How do you get past it? So, I mean, like, what, what are some type of, you know, what are some type of possibilities that could happen and result from you getting to a point where you're like, okay, man, this is kind of difficult. This might not work out. You know? uh, obviously, from the athlete perspective, which we mm -hmm. talked about during the week, is that injury. 
a lot of people get injured and it's difficult for them to rebound because yeah. they're constantly thinking of that injury in the back of their head while they're still playing. So mm -hmm. that's one where it's like, okay, you know you're good. You get injured, mm -hmm. you fall off, and you're like, damn, can I come back? Yeah, it's a lot of players like that, man. And I feel like this guy injured, and it wasn't even something that could have actually ended their career, but um, they just they couldn't actually find that heat, find, find that type of, that motivation to actually feel like they could do it, you know, anymore, so. Well, Almost like about. they were overthinking it a little bit That's too what much. I feel like, yeah, that's what I feel like that actually comes down to, it's overthinking. Or it's actually that bad of an injury and they actually can't move, man. And that's a that's another thing. And we talked about that. That's another that's another situation where let's say you have some doubt and you ignore it. You know, and you just ignore you're like, man, I just yeah, the doctor said I tore both my ACLs, but I'm good. they said I should be okay in a couple years with therapy, but like I'm trying to ball, you know, like coach, I'm cool, I can walk, I, I should be able to ball. And then you get in the court and you know, and you go up for this, whatever, you go to the or whatever, yeah. and you get re-injured, now you can't walk at all. And like, it's like your legs just can't walk. Cause now you don't completely eliminate any chances you have accomplishing the goal because you ignored any type of signs that came towards you indicating that what you were doing might not have been the best. You know, so that's another thing about doubt. It can be a good and a bad thing. I feel like if anything, it's based on your perspective on it. So when you when it comes into the point when it's coming into play, you got you gotta look at it a certain way and keep that, you know, keep that filter in front of you where you look at things at least in a way to grow from them. You know? I mean that's why confidence is a good thing, but you know, you know what they say. There is a very thin line between confidence and being cocky, overconfidence. That overconfidence and sometimes lead you down negative path. In a sense, yeah. Obviously cause cause that distortion as well. So Exactly. But just trying to conquer out here. Out here trying to conquer. That's every week. Again, this is the intro video. If you ain't peeped it, I gotta check the Monday mix I dropped on Monday. And uh, we got more content dropping y'all for the rest of the week, man. Yes. We got that. Stay the, tuned. The story time video, the retwist, yes. and the topic video. Plenty of content. Right Monday mix is out. Check the link in the description. Of course, we're tuned into the Q Brand channel. Subscribe, hit the bell, notifications, all that. We'll see you soon. Peace.